Good afternoon. Welcome to my daily broadcast. My name is Barry Selby. I'm a best-selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert, and help strong, successful women find balance in love, life, and business. And I'm also a passionate champion for the divine feminine. Once one of my friends calls me, I'm a guardian of the feminine, which sounds pretty good too. Um, this is a Facebook Live that will be on YouTube, and at some point in time, it'll be on podcast too. So if you're hearing it there, it got there. <laughs> Like trying to speak to the future is weird when I'm in this moment. So, I do these talks every day called Messages for the Masculine to Inspire the Feminine Heart. And today's broadcast, as every day, is number 388. So, 12 more days to 400. So, it's like, what, just uh, middle of the week after next? That's going to be, no, end of next, end of the week after next. That's going to be cool. Anyway, so, let's, let's stay present. So, jumping ahead. So, today, today's conversation, today's topic is. Um, if you want real love, you gotta deal with what's in the way. And I posted a, um, a meme, or a quote rather, from Jan Le Van Zandt about 10 minutes before doing this. You can watch it on my, go on my Facebook page and look at it. Um, and I'll see if I find a way to post it on YouTube, I'm not sure I can do that. But anyway, this topic is one of these unspoken um, issues. I should made the wrong word. But it's one of these unspoken um, truths about dating actually about relationship more than dating because dating isn't about love really come on let's be real dating is about checking people out relationship which is about love there's a big unspoken piece which is the fact that we have issues <laughs> part of the human syndrome but the reality is more than that is that unless you have a ironclad heart which I hope you don't if you have one that feels and you've been in several relationships the odds are likely you have some wounds from the past relationships. Broken heart, um, regrets, pain, numbness even, bandages bandage, bandage and bandages over your heart from the wounds from past relationships. We all go through this. And most people, like 99.9% .9 of people on the planet, will think that time heals. You know, time heals all wounds. Well, do you have an eternity? Not necessarily physically, maybe spiritually you do. But some of those wounds won't get healed. They'll just calcify and go numb. And yes, I'm speaking like it is a physical wound because the heart feels like that energetically. Um, that's what I want to say. Um, I was watching it. This is actually going back about nine months ago. There was a lecture I was watching by uh, Barbara DeAngelis. And she's, she talked about how when we go through breakups, and we just calcify, we toughen our heart, we're like, I'm fine, I'll be fine. And you move on to the next relationship, next relationship. Imagine as if the amount of love you have to express, not receive, express, is like an ocean in front of you. And as you calcify after past breakups and hurts and wounds in your, in your relationships, you're putting ice blocks on top of the ocean, which is limiting the amount of energy, the amount of love you get to express. If you go through enough broken hearted experiences and pain and hurt and wounds in relationships, eventually the whole of your ocean is covered up by ice and you won't be able to express love. That's an extreme point. But the reality is the amount of wounds you have limits the amount of love you can express, the amount of love you can receive, the amount of love you can play in, because you are wounded and hurt. And what happens is those wounded hurt places, like when um, like you get kids gets hurt, will protect the wound. And we'll pull back and hide out, not available to be loving. So if you don't deal with this stuff, it's gonna limit the ability for you to love. Now it may sound like it's gonna be fine, I'll be fine anyway. So like, I'll love it a bit, I'll love it a bit less. It's kinda of like when you lose feeling in a finger, like or a, or a hand, finger by finger. You say it's not bad, I can survive. And once your whole hand is numb and you're like, why can't I use my hand? In a sense it's like, why can't you use your heart? Because the numbness, which is what I call that expression, is because the wounds and the pain and the and the and the upset emotions aren't being released; they're being suppressed. Time heals all wounds. Doesn't apply in this case. I'm sorry to say, because even if you think after two years after a relationship broke up and you, the wounds from that person deserting you is fine, because it's been two years and you don't feel anything, what's happened is that pain inside has gone numb. Because time doesn't heal all wounds, it numbs all wounds. This is key. As time goes by, you've numbed out the pain because you've let time basically. It's like. Well, it's like this. When we physically injure ourselves, as time goes by, generally the pain subsides because what's happening is we're going numb. 
Same thing is true emotionally with your heart. As time goes by, you start going numb. Until, until you fall in love with somebody again. And as they start to get to know you better and better, and the intimacy grows and grows, and the connection grows and grows deeper and deeper, so you get really intimate, those wounds will suddenly become alive again. So, like having the um, wound go numb, so for example, here we go, this is a good analogy. So for example, you, um, you bang an elbow, and the pain goes numb over a period of time. You don't notice it until like a week later, and then you bang the elbow again, and it hurts twice as much as it did the first time because the wound's there, and you go, oh shit, ah, ouch. Same thing is true with your heart. So you get into a new relationship, you get intimate with somebody else, and you get closer and closer and closer. What happens is their love and your openness to love will just resurface that wound into full expression again. And you wonder why, the, why it is you hurt so much. This is a conundrum you don't want to be in. <laughs> conundrum may be too polite a word. This is a painful experience you don't want to be in. What you want is to be free to love. You, what you want is to remove those ice blocks from the ocean of your loving so you can fully express love, fully receive love, and fully bask in love. The only, the only way to do that, to be that, to have that, is to face those demons of the past, to heal those wounds, to make peace with what happened inside, to forgive yourself, to do all the work necessary so that your heart no longer carries that baggage on top, that wounds that are pushing it down and suppressing your ability to love. When you do the work, and working with somebody who knows how to do this, you'll actually get to a place where your heart will be whole again. It's almost like um, repairing the wounds of your heart once and for all so you can love fully, expressively, joyfully, happily, but, or and, with the wisdom of what happens, you don't do it again. See, this is the truth. Carrying the wounds around is one thing, because you have the insight and the wisdom of what happened to it. But if you don't deal with the actual wounds, you don't get the benefit. So when you have healed the wounds, those memories of what happened are there for you to use as reference, not as pain points. It's a very different experience. So the quote I posted earlier from Yann Lemazan is a bit more graphic, so it's about putting your hands into the wound, pulling it out and doing the work. I don't quite work that way. <laughs> um, it's funny, I was talking to somebody today about like, what do we call ourselves? Like, I'm not a coach. If anything, the word I would use is more like a facilitator. Well, and a teacher, because I do these Facebook Lives all 388 every day for the last year and a bit. So, what I, my work is really is facilitating, as in making, because faci facilitate is like make easy. You know, facile, as in get comfortable or be, be um, skilled in. So it's facilitator of the heart, facilitator of the journey. My work is to help you heal so you can actually attract love. It isn't a therapeutic context, it's a holistic context. And for those of you out there who are looking for love in the wrong places because you've been guided by the pain from the past, that sounded pretty good actually, find someone who can help you, whether it's me or somebody else. Because I, let me be blunt, with seven enough billion people on the planet, I can't work with everybody. <laughs> but there are plenty of people out there you can work with. And if you want to work with me, find I'll show you and tell you how you can get in touch with me. But the point I want to make is that it's not going to go away on its own. Those wounds from the past will not go away on their own. They'll just numb out until you hit them again. Bang your rubber once, it hurts. Gets numb, bang it again, hurts twice as much. That's the thing that happens to your heart when you don't do the work to heal it. So don't hurt your heart again until you want to heal it once and for all. Now, one of the things to say on that is that once you do, if you don't want to hurt your heart again, after you do the healing work, don't choose another relationship like you did before. That's part of the healing work too. Because the other side of this point, that had this PS to it in a way, is when you are still carrying that wound inside, it tends to attract more of its same to itself. Meaning that when you're out dating, you tend to repeat the patterns of those wounds again and again. Meaning because the resonant frequency of that stuffed energy is looking for its likeness out there. So even though you're looking to date somebody over here in this vision, we end up with somebody over there that matches your past pain. And that past pain is being magnified in a way, being exa exaggerated by that. Yeah, it doesn't sound pretty, does it? So rather than keep accumulating pain in that bucket, how about you clean the bucket up once and for all? Again, you can work with therapists, you can work with certain coaches can do this, not a lot of, coaches, not a lot of dating coaches can, let me be blunt. Um, but heart-centered practitioners of love, whatever that title is, can do that. That's my speciality, it's in the work I do. I'm always called a heartbreak repair specialist for a while. It's a heavy brand to carry, but it's kind of what I do with my clients. If you want to find out about that, let me just give you a couple of links you can check out. But 
no investment, no um, requirement on your part except to, to choose it. This is something where I can help you, and if you want to find out more about what I do, I do offer a 30-minute conversation with my gift to you called a Complimentary Clarity Conversation. And that's my gift. You can find out how to get that on my website, which is barryselby.com. Click on Let's Chat. But I want to make sure that you get this point again, and I'll, I'll remind you of that link at the end. Don't sit there and think your wounds will heal on their own, because they won't. They will just, at best, they'll go numb. At worst, they'll, st- they'll keep reminding you every two days when you go when you get up, you feel it's like you feel that twinge when you got something you didn't heal. Your heart's gonna do the same thing. So please do yourself the favor of getting support, guidance, loving support to heal that past trauma, that past pain, so you can be free to love fully again and to love yourself first. I think that makes the point. Again, the link to find out how to get in touch with me is barryselby.com forward slash chat. This is a quick broadcast today, but it's my daily Facebook Live that I do, number 388. You can see the rest of these, including this one, on my business page on Facebook, which is barryselby.author. Also, my YouTube channel, which is Barry Selby. See the common thread, it's all my name. Um, which is uh, the, the playlist is Message to the Masculine. And also on my website, again, barryselby.com, click on the video blog where you can look at the rest of these videos, although frankly, that page is getting very full. 388 broadcast is a very slow loading page, so you might want to look at them on YouTube or on Facebook on my business page. Um, I hope this has made sense to you, and this has landed. This is kind of a, a short description of a fairly deep topic, so I hope it's landed for you. Um, if you have any questions, comments, please put them below in underneath the video. I'll respond to them when I sign off. If anybody should watch this, please share it with them um, and invite them to check out my work. This is this is a big topic, and I know I'm just touching into the surface of this. But I think this made the point clear enough that you get the sense of what this is about. This is maybe the biggest piece of work that needs to be done in relationships. Not meshing somebody, not swiping on somebody, not doing anything like that. It's doing this work first. Because it raises the standards, it raises the standards for your choices going forward. And if you really want to have a healthy relationship, you're not just looking to date and just have fun, which is okay to do. Um, Stephanie, that's quite a name there, Stephanie. How do you know that you're healed? Um, that's a good question because, well, put it this way. If you haven't done anything about it, it probably isn't, to be blunt. But if you've done some work with either inner work where you've studied yourself, you've done retreats, because it's not all about us working one on one with a coach, even though I recommend that for myself, although, again, I said I wasn't a coach. Facilitator is a better word. Um, having looked inside and to really get clear on me, Actually, I'm going to ask that question more directly in a moment, but basically, if you haven't already done any work with somebody else to help heal it, it's probably not healed. And um, here's the way. One of the best ways to do this, and you have to be really honest, really honest with yourself, is look back at those relationships that you were wounded in. And thank you for asking the question. just hit me. I didn't say this, so thank you for that. Um, continually for a year. Good. Well, here's the thing, Stephanie. If you look back at your past relationships, the ones that wounded you that much, the ones you got most heartbroken in, do they still carry weight? Do they still carry pain for you? You still feel wounded, you still feel hurt when you look in there clearly because the, when you look in, look directly at it, it's not so numb anymore. If that still hurts, then the work isn't complete. Because healing means that you don't feel the pain anymore. Not the, let me rephrase that. Let me rephrase that. Healing is not about getting numb. Healing is being free of all that baggage, all that gunk from the past. And if when you look back at it, you still feel it, when you look at it, you go, yeah, it's in the way, because you'll know it clearly. Then you haven't, done the, haven't finished the work yet. I have to answer your question. That, that feels about the best way of describing it. It's more nuanced than that. And if you want to talk about it, reach out to me. Again, my, my way to find me is barryselby.com forward slash chat, and we can talk. Ah, there you go. So you have made peace with it all. That's the thing. So once you know you, once you've done that, it really is honestly, authentically lined up inside, and you know that for yourself. Then yes, you've healed. And of course, there's more than one um, pile of baggage in your past history. You may have to do it more than once. <laughs> Just to be clear, you're welcome, Stephanie. Hope that helps. So again, um, if you want to find out how to reach me, go to my website, which my name barryselby.com. If you have any questions, comments, I'll put them below, and I'll sign, when I sign up, I'll answer them. Unless you catch me whilst I'm still broadcasting. And uh, homework. Okay, homework. I do give homework every day. It's kind of the way I work this. If you're not sure if you do have any baggage from the past, 
be courageous enough, be willing enough to actually look back there. Go back, look at past relationships, see where they're not resolved, if you've got pain, wounds in the past, and then take an extra step towards healing it. That's your homework. Not an easy one, I know, but I'll recommend it, and you've got ways to find me and everything else in here. Thank you for being with me, as always. I will see you again tomorrow. That'll be 389. And uh, I think that's it. Take care of yourself. This, this, this work, this inspiration, this talk is really helping you to take care of yourself. And that's what I invite you to do. Please take care of yourselves and I'll see you again tomorrow.